So uh, these two, these two guys, um, John, John, John C. Adams, and uh, who was a, an English guy, and um, Urbane uh, Lever, um, he who was uh, I, I can't remember whether he was French or um, or yeah, I think he was French actually. Um, but but he was working in Germany, um, and uh, so so it, it it's kind of interesting. <laughs> like uh, you know, both these 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 guys were, worked out the 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 details of of where Neptune should be. According, you know, they they didn't know it was going to be called Neptune um, at the time, but but they they worked out where it, where it's supposed to be, and uh, um. Yeah, and, and so, and so uh, um, one of them, I think it was uh, this, this, this guy, uh, Urbane, uh, told the, um, or, you know, passed the information on to, uh, I think it was the, the observatory in Berlin. Um, I, I guess that's where he was working at the time. Anyhow, um, the, the 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 planet was found within a day of of you know the so he just basically came up with you know what what portion of the sky to look in and they they turned the telescope and uh they discovered um the the, the planet um neptune and now ne neptune is a little bit um more of a bluish color um than you know uranus is more of a of a blue green color um, this this picture right here is is uh, showing that Neptune definitely has features on its surface. Or sorry, not not remember. It's it's a it's it's a, a gas giant, so it doesn't really have a surface. It's just an atmosphere that gets thicker and thicker as you're getting towards the center. But um, you know, one of the things. So so this was also you know discovered by. Um, or this picture was taken by the uh, the Voyager two spacecraft. Remember, um, Uranus was was photographed, and, and it was just a flyby um, in in nineteen eighty six, and then um, in nineteen eighty nine, uh, the 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 uh, the Voyager two spacecraft got to Neptune, and it observed these winds. Um, oh, you know, sorry, these features. Um, it also did observe winds on 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 Neptune um, and in fact uh, one of the things so, so so I guess I should talk about uh, there's this great this this thing called the great dark spot um, we thought at first in in 1989 that uh, this was this was a more or less permanent feature on on um, on, on the, in the upper atmosphere you know kind of like like Jupiter's uh, great red spot. This is called the great dark spot. Um, so remember, Voyager only looked at, you know, passed by one day in 1989. And, uh, and, and that was it, right? It's, it's the, 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 that, that's, that's what we had. Um, about, uh, about four or five years later, um, the Hubble Space Telescope uh, had, had been launched there, there was problems with the with the Hubble Space Telescope in the early '90s. Um, the the optics didn't work very well, and so so we actually had to send a a um, a crew uh, aboard one of the space shuttles to repair it um, to to repair the optics on 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 the uh, on the um, you know the the Hubble Space Telescope. So this was very early in its in its uh, in 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 the days of, of the Hubble and and, and it, they once once they repaired it they turned it to you know different objects and and one of the one of the points of interest was hey let's let's take a look at Neptune with the Hubble and and see if we can see this um, you know that this this uh, this great dark spot and and it, you know it, and so when they looked um, in in the mid nineties. Um, it was gone. It was completely gone. So uh, it was only just a, it just happened to be there when when in 1989 when Voyager passed by. 
Uh, we don't know how long it had lasted, you know, before that. Yeah. And um, anyhow, there, there are features. That's the important thing. There are features on that that, that can be seen um, in the outer atmosphere of, of Neptune. And that was actually a big surprise. Um, all right, so uh, Neptune's interior is uh, probably similar to Uranus, mostly water, surrounded by um, uh, hydrogen and, you know, hydrogen compounds like ammonia and, and methane, um, maybe a little bit less methane. So, um, you know, you get some more of that bluish color. Um, it does have a higher density than, than uh, um you know, so, so its density implies that it has, you know, a little bit higher percentage of of, uh, of heavier elements than than uh, or you know heavier heavier things like rocks and 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 things, but not not much. I mean, it's not that much higher of a density, but it is a little bit higher. All right. So remember, uh, Uranus was about one point two, so this is one point six, one point seven or so. And so uh, there's there's heavier stuff in there. Um, let's see the the atmosphere. So again, the, the, here's the this thing which was dubbed the Great Dark Spot. Um, and uh, you know there are these different features. Um, and and this was a big surprise when when you know the Voyager two spacecraft got there in 1989, and you know no one expected there. They they, they thought it would look a lot like. Um, Uranus, which is almost completely featureless, right? There, there's no, you know, no turbulence in the atmosphere that can be easily seen. Um, but, but the, it was, it was very apparent uh, when we got there. And so, what that implied, um, and and was was actually measured, um, is that you know, just like Jupiter and Saturn, um, that Neptune is actually giving off a little bit more heat. Than, um, than it receives from the sun. Remember, it's it's much further out um, than you know. It's like thirty astronomical units. Um, it's around thirty astronomical units away from the sun, and so, so you know it receives very little sunlight, and and so it gives off more heat than it receives. And um, what we think is going on is. Um, that uh, that um, the the uh, well, uh, this, oh, but by the way, the, these are these features are from the Coriolis effect, um, and uh, oh, what else? Um, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. The, the you know the the source of heat inside of um, inside of uh, Neptune is um, you know possibly. We're still we're still trying to figure that out why this thing is so hot, um, or you know why there's more not not so hot, but why it's giving off more heat than it receives from the sun, um, and 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 one of the things one of the one of the um, the the uh, the evidence of of that is is these these features that we see in the upper atmosphere of of Neptune. Um, it, so there must be a heat source, you know, driving the, the, these feet, you know, causing these features. There's there's convection deep within the within the planet where the heat flows outward, and of course you see these, um, you know, you see these features. And it turns out of the Voyager spacecraft actually measured the wind, um, of you know, on on uh, Neptune, and we we were really surprised. By the fact that the the that Neptune had the highest wind of 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 all the planets, and and that's that was that was a kind of a shocker um, you know, that you know that the 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 speed of of the wind um, on on Neptune in you know in the, in the outer atmosphere was traveling much much faster, like you know more than a thousand miles per hour, um, and that's um, you know there's some some source of heat that that's driving that um all right uh of course ne the uh you know just just like the the other um, gas giants neptune has a ring system um 
it is uh, we, we think it's probably debris from from um, from some of its moons or or the comets that break up if they get too close to Neptune. Um, it contains lots of a lot more dust than than uh, than Saturn or Uranus's rings. Um, the rings are again not uniformly distributed. That that means they're thicker on one side than they're, they're than than on the other. Um, and, and so we don't think that there are permanent feature around uh, Neptune. Um, Neptune has a really large moon um, called Triton. Um, it's, it's the largest moon of Neptune. And, and it has a few really interesting features. Um, one of them is it, it doesn't seem like Triton formed with Neptune. It, it seems like it's a captured object. Um, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, um, it, it, its orbit is tilted and it it orbits backwards like it, it so you know ne Neptune spins in a certain direction um here let's go back ne Neptune spins in a certain direction you know let, let's say uh you know counterclockwise like like the other planets but but Triton is going the other way um as it orbits and it doesn't even orbit around uh you know the the uh the, the the equator of 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 Neptune, so it, it seems like it's some kind of captured object, um, and it's more like Pluto than it is um, like uh, like like um, Neptune. Um, all right, so um, and there's some other moons as well, but tr Triton is is by far the more more interesting one. Um, there's evidence of of geysers. Um, we actually saw some geysers. Uh, th these are these are um, geysers, not not of water. It, it's too cold out there for there be, to be water. But um, they're they're uh, uh, sometimes they're called cryovolcanoes. Um, so so th these are um, mixtures of of um, nitrogen and water ice and um, uh, and uh, and carbon compounds that are heated beneath the surface and they expand and they burst out. Um, and so we saw, we, you know, there's evidence of, of the, um, of, of the, these, these cryo volcanoes, um, on, on the surface. All right. Uh, let's see. Triton has some craters with dark streaks expanding around them. At least, uh, one of them are, originated from, um, from geysers caught erupting by the Voyager spacecraft. I mean, you know, that's a pretty remarkable thing that of all, you know, as, as the Voyager spacecraft just happened to be trapped, the Voyager 2 spacecraft happened to be traveling by um, in, in, in 1989 and observed geysers. Uh, and so, that, you know, that indicates that there's, these things are going on all the time, right? I mean, it, did, it, did, it didn't just happen because the Voyager spacecraft was, would happen to be traveling by, um, but but we we got very lucky. We got lucky enough to, to actually observe these. Um, all right, uh, just to let you know, there's there's if you ever um, come to my office, I, I have a picture of um, it was actually one of the last pictures that the Voyager two spacecraft took um, when when uh, the Voyager two looked back. From 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 Triton as it passed Triton, um, and there and in the background you can see um, Neptune as well. All right, so um, that is that is uh, I think this is it. Yeah, so this that is it on on uh, chapter nine. Um, the next chapter is uh, you know is is on um, what what's called space. To, the, the book entitles it Space Debris, which are things, we're, we're, we'll talk about things like comets and asteroids um, and meteors and meteorites and things like that. All right, so that's the next thing that's coming up. All right, uh, so, so just keep in mind, the only the only time that, that, uh, that any spacecraft has ever visited um, Uranus and Neptune was, was with the Voyager 2 spacecraft. It's back, back in the 1980s. Um, and there's no plans on going back 
Um, it, you know, it's very expensive. 